Hey guys, and welcome back to Masters of Brujitsu. Today we are looking at set 71793, Heat Wave Transforming Lava Dragon. And here is the set all built up. This set comes with 479 pieces and retails for $54.99 here in the United States, where it will release at select retailers on June 1st. Starting off, we've got this little craft for Lord Raz. Uh, this thing does spin on this little like bottom power plate, which is really cool. The ball clips in with these, apparently on the back of the box. Once it gets to the Dragon Core, it can kind of do spin jitsu. Now, if you know anything about me or my love for Ninjago, I absolutely love Ninjago Dragons, and this one is no exception. The colors on it are great. The purple, the nuka color, and the dark red just look amazing. However, I'm not a big fan of the wing section here, as it's kind of lagging. Um, as a lava dragon, I'm sure it probably swims through the lava more or flies around, but uh, these just really aren't doing it for me. These uh, leg pieces are also really nice and everything kind of ratchet, so I'll show you why later. Uh, this tail is on a ball joint here in the back and just kind of swivels there, um, which is nice, but that gray's a little bit jarring on the back end, which is too bad. I also love the detail on the head up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here's the transforming feature. It is a little, uh, a little weird to, to get right the first time, um, but they do just simply like flip down. You flip the dragon head over, and I'm actually pretty sure that I uh, did the back legs wrong here. These uh, these connection joints down here at the bottom on the, the back legs also kind of sink. You can't twist them around very quickly, otherwise the, uh, the little back piece will, will snap off the front. So here is it transformed. The neck is pretty simple. It's just on uh, two little joints that allow it to kind of go up and down, which is kind of where the transforming feature gets. It is a little like hunchbacky, kind of reminds me of the Earth Dragon from the Core Wave in early January 2023. And it's all right. It's I kind of got limited possibility um, in this uh, this formation, um, which isn't bad, but it also just doesn't look great. Here's the ball shooting function, and that that actually works pretty well. Overall, I do like this dragon quite a bit. Uh, like I said, I love the color schemes. I love its possibility when it's on the, the, the regular side. It's got uh, quite a bit of range of motion. Let's go ahead and check out the minifigures. First up, we have Heat Wave. Now, this is the only exclusive minifigure in the set. I think her printing and stuff looks great. Her character also uses the Shanga hairpiece from Monkey Kid, which is really cool. Uh, she doesn't have any back head printing, which is unfortunate. We're moving on to Kai. And I will say, um, these new ninja outfits look incredible. They definitely take an original ninja look and make them look new. Here's Lloyd. For the sake of this review, none of these figures come with hair. I'm just showing them, um, showing them off with the hair. And here we have the Imperium Claw Hunter. I absolutely love the printing that these Imperium figures get. They look so good. Here is Lord Roz. Again, just phenomenal printing. The arm printing is gorgeous. That kind of magenta color looks great. The base of this figure is just gorgeous that red with the gold looks amazing the detailing is insane and here's a quick look at uh lord Raz's hammer a simple build but it's very elegant and then here is these uh these new imperium swords these things are absolutely stunning the dual molding is incredible um like this was one of the first things that i really wanted to get my hands on it looks great Overall, for $54.99, uh, 479 pieces feels a little bit lacking, but five minifigures, I think, kind of makes up for it. And as an avid Ninjago Dragon collector, um, this one was an obvious must for me. However, unless you're really after getting all the minifigures and getting Wildfire, I would probably wait for this one to go on sale just a little bit. Uh, I don't really think the builds justify the cost. I would, I would probably just wait for it to go on sale. Um, if, if I were you, probably, you know, maybe pay $45, $50 for it. Um, but those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!